So, hello and uh, welcome to the part 2 in which uh, we will connect SDR uh, through the hertz and uh, what is most important uh, uh, we will find out how this uh, series uh, will be continued so let's get into it so as you can see we have here our breadboard and I will turn on some light yes that's better and uh, on this breadboard it will uh, not run it's uh, just uh, for you so uh, you can see anything and you have uh, uh, you can you can kind of track uh, what you are doing when you are doing your own uh, so you can see here are GPIOs here is our so gigahertz where you can see what is connection what are connections here is SD card and uh, as you can see here is our LCD and uh, here are some buttons shift register and some uh, some uh, infrared and somewhere yes here I have uh, this one and this is our NFC so first we will connect our SD card we will connect uh, not just our SD card but our uh, SPI so as you can see we have uh, different cores and uh, we connect mostly CLK, CLK and MISO and uh, MOSI is on pin 5 it's a B5 so we will connect it in B5 clock signal is on uh, B3 and uh, MISO is on 4 uh, we will of course need a bar of it so we will connect uh, this for example we will connect CS line and I believe it's a uh, core. Let's see. Yes, it's four and it's A. So we'll connect it connect it in A4. And uh, you just now you just need connect 3.3 volts and ground and I will organization so we can see what is where hopefully but uh, in the in the comments it will be it will be more of it so uh, no, no, no in comments in, in the video description it will be pin out and uh, about uh, now I will I will put it down uh, so it's you can you can actually see something you know that's the reason why it will not run on this and uh, as you can see what we have here we have my soul and it's uh, basically the same not basically it is the same it's a uh, it's SPI it's it's it is the same pin uh, multiple devices go to the same pin so it's on 4 and it's a P4 Now we have clock. Clock is in B3. Mousy to the 5. And uh, CS line.
is on A7. I have this one, yeah, here, yeah. this one is not connected on CS9, it's for A7. And GD, GD, GDO 1, 0, it's for on uh, A1. And that's it. And of course you need control vault on the ground and as I will show I will be showing you how to how it's connected and how it uh, fits together I will of course be, be, be building the real stuff as you can see here and here we have our microcontroller we have sub gigahertz and we have SD card so let's connect it and uh, see what this actually do so I will connect it yes it's connected and as you can see not much yeah yeah now you can see it's a uh, it have installed SD card of course it doesn't have factory keys but uh, we will address it with this later I know what to do with it and uh, now you can actually run the apps and in sub gigahertz. Uh, there is uh, something. Uh, sorry, I need to find some controller. I I believe I have one somewhere here. Hmm. Uh, anyway, we can we can uh, meanwhile try something different, like. Uh, we can, for example, run some brute forcer. And uh, meanwhile, I will look for the controller. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will start. Uh, oh, it's it's uh, kind of crazy. It's, it's it's something which can happen, but it's freeze. So I think we will just start it. And it's already got something, but it doesn't know what it is. And it got another one. And 
only one. So as you can see, and so as you can see, it's perfectly working. Uh, so yeah.